Step right up for a good fashion game of follow the lady. The cards spin and shuffle. But where has the lady gone? I'm actually right behind you, Hotshot. <laughs> I love a good three card Monte. Now, are you ready to pay up, hot stuff? Ooh, someone wants another round, don't they? Well, tell you what. Why don't you close that door and we can touch wood? Darling, as cute as you look when you're confused, I didn't come here to run laps. Close the door and let's get down to brass tacks. Thanks, love. I'd hate to tete-a-tete -tete with prying eyes. Oh, my little ace. Don't play coy. You know exactly why I'm here. No? You want me to believe you haven't the foggiest idea of what's happening? Come now, darling. We both know you're a bit more clever than that. Please. You can't tell me you haven't noticed the changes. The changes, my little star. You didn't think all of this was just the luck of the draw, did you? This, all of this, the free samples, the contests, the lotteries, the simple fact that you've hit a darn good streak of luck. What about it? Darling, don't you get it? That's all been me. You've fallen into fortune with Lady Luck. And I've ensured you had the time of your life. Come on, Ace. Open your eyes. No one wins six lotteries in a row without a little help. I've been at your side for weeks now, whispering lucky numbers in your ear making sure coins land the right way up. I've even pulled a few strings with fate to make sure any pesky elements stay away. Why? Now I think that's clearer than a crystal, hot stuff. I'm doing this because I like you. Really? Truly? Darling, don't think about it too hard. You caught my eye. I showed you everything I can offer. And now I'm here to match pairs. So pucker up, sweetheart. Honey, if you pull away like that, I might get the wrong idea. Oh, don't be like that. You've been dealt a soft 16. And you're trying to stick. You've got to hit low and let it ride. Darling, we don't need to take it slow. You love the life I provide. And I love you. We're belts and suspenders. An ace and a ten. We need each other. Come on, hot stuff. You know you want me. It's not like you've got any other options. Ha <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> you hadn't put that one together yet, had you? Well then, darling, let me reveal a little footnote in my machinations. You've got everything a mortal could dream of. Money. Influence. Fame. But you may have noticed you're missing one little detail. Isn't it odd how with all this luck you can't seem to score the companionship of the fairer sex? Isn't it weird that when relatives and friends came out of the woodwork for your fortune, not a single dame was among the group? Hell, even your own mother stopped calling on weekends. I'll admit, she probably wasn't a threat. But I'm not one to leave bases uncovered. I'm Lady Luck, darling. Misfortune. I can't make anyone disappear, per se, but I can certainly keep the hussies off you. Oh, you know, a phone line falls and you miss a few calls. Everyone who approaches you is suddenly having a terrible hair day. And then the very occasional traffic light malfunction to deal with the real contenders. No, darling. It's not murder. It's chance. Cold, unforgiving chance. If the chances just so happen to swing in my direction, that's hardly my fault, right? Relax, Ace. No one you know is dead. In fact, if they're lucky, everyone who got slighted will make a full recovery and more. But both of us know that whether they're lucky or not is hardly random. That's exactly what I'm saying, darling. This fortune doesn't have to stop with you. Your family, your friends, co-workers, bosses, even complete strangers if you wanted. I could keep them all riding high. Or I could lock them behind the eight ball. And all of that would be entirely up to you. I mean it, Hotshot. I yank on a few threads and you're President of the United States. Supreme Chancellor of Earth. Exalted ruler of the Milky Way. I can topple governments. I can give you revenge on everyone who has ever wronged you. Or I could just make sure all your pizza deliveries arrive a few minutes earlier than expected. And all you have to do is be with me. What's that look in your eyes, sweetie? You should be gleaming, not gloomy. Do you not believe me? Because I promise. Everything I said has been as true as a wet fish. You've got that je ne sais quoi. You excite me. And I do love to be excited. Do you think I can't do it? Can't change everything for you? Because I've done a lot more for people who were worth a lot less. Ever heard of Alexander the Great? Fu Hao? Elvis Presley? None of them had half of what I see in you. And I took them to the moon and back. Imagine what I'd do to keep you in my corner. Darling, I'm getting tired of this routine. You belong with me. I've done all of this to show you that. Is there something wrong? 
Is it the way I look? Because I can change that. I'm luck itself. I'm not bound to a single human form. Hot shot. I'm not going another round at this. You're going to tell me what's what, right now. Really? Is that how it is? Oh, of course. You just aren't ready for something like that. No worries. No, it's fine. In fact, it's better than fine. I'm an ethereal concept. I've got nothing but time. If you don't want me, then I'll just go. An old 23 skidoo. I mean it. It's peachy. I'll go. And I'll take all my luck with me, of course. What? Oh, that little chestnut. Yes. If I'm not staying, then I can hardly keep my blessings around now, can I? But I'm sure you'll be fine. You've made millions. And you've got this house. And those fancy doodads. You've got plenty of fortune to coast on. Oh, wait. That would go with me too, wouldn't it? No, it's it's nothing serious. It's just... Well, there's a tendency this old universe seems to have. A sort of... Balance. When I leave, and all my abnormally good luck leaves with me, you won't just go back to being normal. The sudden change will send you catapulting to the Flying Dutchman. Left out to dry. Avoir le poisse. But I'm sure you'll be fine. It's not like you rely on tons of risky things every day. Except... You know, most of your kitchen appliances, your car, and the startling number of aeroplanes that fly overhead. What? Me? Give you bad luck? No, never. If I was trying to keep you on the rocks, you'd know. But if all of a sudden your friends and family fall victim to a lot of freak accidents, you'll know why. Oh, darling, I'm not threatening you. I'm just stating a fact. Like how, thanks to my control over probability, I could easily cause a few cells to go haywire and give someone cancer. Or how, if you were unlucky enough, all your atoms could line up just so, and you could fall through the floor. But you don't have to worry about any of that. I don't want to kill you. It's everyone around you that should be scared. Say, how many people do you think would have to drop dead near you before your government realised you were the problem? You're right, darling. I wouldn't let them kill you. But there's a big difference between death and constant, excruciating pain. No. I'm not saying that I'd cause anything. It's just that random chance can be... Oh, so cruel. And I can't be expected to save some random human from their poor circumstance. 
But if we were together, then I could protect you. I could keep you safe. But you don't want that. You want me to go. So, I won't waste any more of your time. Oh? What's that? Hmm. There must be something up with my ears. I can't quite hear you. Why don't you say that one more time? Tell me that you're mine. I knew you'd come around, hotshot. Now, why don't we head to your room? I haven't had a good horizontal tango in years, but... But tonight... I'm feeling lucky.